Welcome to Cheap Joe's Art Stuff. My name is Julie and I'm here to impart some knowledge to you today via a two minute art tip. And today's tip is actually kind of a weird little thing. <laughs> um, if any of you have been watching regularly, you have probably heard me talk about the band Greta Van Fleet. I'm a big fan and I have been for a long time. Years ago, when I got to see them live, the first thing that me and my family, uh, my daughter, my husband, and all of our friends said was, oh my gosh, that was so great. Let's go do that again. <laughs> and so we immediately went home and bought tickets to the next show that was anywhere in our proximity. Still six hours away, but we, we tried. So, you know, the, the winds of fate were not uh, in our favor. And so the, b the band postponed that second, that next date. And then um, with the postponed tickets, we had 10 of us that had all decided to go together and the kids had exams and that was a mess. And then seven out of the 10 of us all got sick um, and didn't get to go. Um, probably one of the longest days and most expensive days of my life because I was upset. But then COVID swept in and, you know, blah, blah, blah. So it gave me plenty of time to think about, man, when I finally get to go to another show, I'm going to have the biggest, bestest time and I'm going to paint myself a jacket to wear to the show. And so that's what today's video is actually about. It's sort of about this jacket. If you've been watching, you've heard me talk about painting denim jackets before. I've done more than a handful here lately. And so I thought, yeah, cake, no problem. I got this, this is no big deal, you know? So I got myself a discount jacket and sat down and I thought, I knew exactly where I was going with this. The band has some, an album inset artwork that was just fabulous and they actually published it online. So that's where this artwork came from. You can see it here. And I started with um, Posca pens just on the raw jacket and it was not going that great. <laughs> Like I can just say, honestly, the jacket was just too absorbent and stuff like this. And in the past, I've never done anything kind of this big and broad. Um, you know, it was all like smaller thingies. So I never really had to gesso one before, but this one was not going well. I, I was going over it, you know, multiple times and the, the color was getting pretty dull and washed out from just absorbing into the fabric. So it was time to it was time to give it up and back up and punt, honestly. And so what I did was took some of our own uh, Cheap Joe's really good black gesso, and you can see the edges of it here along the bottom, and just primed this whole panel with black gesso to give it a nice even coat, cover up the the botches that I already had there and then just start over. But the cool part was that I was able to take my um, Posca pens, my paint pens, also some Molotow ones, and did all of the, the sketching, sketched all the big features in and stuff like that. And they were perfect because it sat right on top of the gesso. It was easy to see and all this kind of stuff. But the rest of this was done with American Journey acrylics and also Golden Fluid acrylic. I used a really great Cheap Joe's stubby brush to do the sky details and it went in fast. The stubby brush was perfect for that and also doing a lot of the preliminary blending. I just had a blast. I had so much fun. I even found an artist on Etsy who was able to make me these little gold onks that are part of the artwork that's online. So check out doing some artwork for yourself like this. You know, granted, I don't know if jackets are your thing, but if something inspires you and makes you happy and it gives you a lot of energy, you should definitely pursue that. Like do more of that. Whatever gives you a little burst of happy, then that's what you should try out. I know I had fun creating it. I had fun wearing it. I had fun sharing, you know, the artwork and the experience with other people. And now I'm here sharing it with you. It's a lot of fun ways to play with, you know, media that we have available here. If you've got something that you want to do that makes you happy the way that this makes me happy and music makes me happy, you should definitely pursue that with all the gusto that you have. So we hope that this was helpful and hope that you enjoy. Thank you. 